Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 539. Yes, yes. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie flavor ice cream arrives in Singapore from Kind Nose? 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 All right. <laughs> I haven't heard of this place before, but hey, um, Pony is invading the ice cream world over in Singapore with two new promotional flavors, starting Pinky, uh, starring Pinkie Pie and Sunset Shore. Okay, uh, star starring Pinkie Pie with her Sunset Shorebird and Twilight with her Blueberry Dream. They are apparently plant-based, soy-free, and complete vegan on top of it on top of it yes you can see both at the uh kind notes website mm. so let's let's head down and see okay so pinky pie is a pineapple mango strawberry sor sorbet sorbet and twilight here is a blueberry Raspberry, vanilla, sponge cake, rainbow sprinkle combo. <clears throat> so I think that could be basically ice cream. And, huh. So let's see. Ah, okay. So what you get here is, uh, <laughs> okay. Um. I, I'm Malaysian. I guess I'll try and see what you have in Malaysia. Wait, it's over in Malaysia too? It is. Huh. That's fascinating. So you and me are discovering this both at the same time. So that's cool. So anyway, um, the ice cream here is about uh, a pint, huh? A pint is about ten dollars for you guys, so that's pretty fascinating. I'm not hundred percent sure about the flavor and whatnot. Uh, personally, for me, I'm a vanilla chocolate kind of guy. I'm not really into the fruity based flavor, so I don't know. It's a hit and miss for me, probably. But still, this is fascinating. I wonder where their store's located. Uh, Bangsa Village, Sazda Damansara. So there's only two stores in Malaysia and three stores in Singapore. All right, all right. No problem, no problem. So I can't really say much about this because in terms of ice cream, I usually, if I do get ice cream at um, Baskin Robbins, I, I like their peanut butter ice cream like that uh, chocolate peanut butter something I forgot what their combo is called and I'm not 100% sure if Inside Scoop is a local brand or not but I usually try a, a variety of things over there but um, mostly peanut butter I, I like the idea of having peanut butter with my ice cream that sounds pretty whack <laughs> a good kind of whack Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Uh, Burger King in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark gets, gets pony books. A set of six books have arrived for a toy promotional pro, pro, toy promotion happening at Burger King in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. All of them are G5 based, includes 12 pages in total with Transformers joining them. Hmm. So let's zoom in and see what we can discover. Mm, I can't really tell. There, honestly speaking, um, oh man, it's been a while since I got any. You know what? No, um, I rarely get books from. Uh, fast food joints when I get a Happy Meal or anything like that. 
usually I would get the toys and so on, blah, blah, blah. But that's besides the point. Um, but <clears throat> with this one, uh, I, I wonder what's inside. Summarization of an episode, something exclusive. Anything in the chat here? Uh, these are coloring books. It's not entirely clear whether these are coloring books from Toy Promotion. Still, however, each book does seem to have 24 pages, 12 pages of ponies content, and 12 pages of Transformers. Oh, double sided? That's anything. Uh, My Little Pony and Transformers in the same book now available for all children visiting Burger King across Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Toy Promotions in uh, is uh, launched. Uh, Toy Promotion is launching a special limited edition and exclusive book campaign featuring My Little Pony and Transformers. This six book collection is now available in Burger King restaurants across Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Each book features two opposite side upside down style front cover where fans can flip over from one to another to experience 12 pages of My Little Pony and 12 pages of Transformers. Ah, okay. That's very fascinating. We, uh, uh, Sylvester, why, why did you put that into the report? That That is just... Mm. So... From what I'm gathered here, the book is 24 pages because there's 12 pages of ponies and 12 pages of transformers, um, front and back. So basically, uh, you don't have to collect 24 of them, sorry, 12 of them, but you just have to collect all six to get both of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of what's inside, they say coloring book, but it could be, it could be more than that. I, I don't know. <clears throat> but still, that's very fascinating. And if it's a coloring book, I know your artist type would love to do some coloring practice. So let's move on to the next topic. The lost OC plush that appeared at a thrift store. Um, Who wrote this? So we still, all right. Uh, we have a wild story from Twitter today at... Yao, yeah, op one one seven, uh, commission the OC shown above from plushie maker Sun Kai, but it unfortunately got lost in the UP USPS system, United States Postal Service system, after six months of back and forth with USPS, during which they claim it was being held by custom they finally admitted it was lost and proceeded uh, proceed the ins process process um mm, process the insurance claim for those unfamiliar so, mm, insurance claim for those unfamiliar with commissioning life size plushy they can be quite costly uh, especially original characters since plush makers can't uh, resell them in the sorry if the order falls through yeah that that is pretty that that is true especially for this one um what you can oh sorry uh what Steph means by this is that let's just say the plush maker makes this and uh, let's say the commissioner says, uh, I'm broke. I spend money on food and stuff, so I can't pay you. I'm sorry. If this was a pony, uh, main six pony, or even the other sets of ponies that's from the show, at least the uh, commissioner, sorry, at least the uh, plush maker could say, ah, it's, all, it's all good. I'll just, I'll just sell this off to someone that's interested or willing to buy it. But if it's an OC, then, oh my god. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> we're not finished yet. Uh, NK Plush and Sun Kai kindly remain and uh, remade and ship a new version which arrived safely, but the story took an unexpected 
turn turn someone discovered the original at a thrift store called volunteers of america for just 13 bucks another person eventually bought it and sent it back to yao 117 now he has two plush although one has a smaller small a small stain from the ordeal being lost and ended up and ended, ended up Sorry, and lost and ending up at the store. It's always amazing to see how interconnected we've become. Imagine, uh, imagine the odds of someone recognizing your lost OC from a random Twitter post in a store filled with thousands of plushies. Hopefully, the other lost ponies will find their way back to their owners too. So yeah, this is this is fascinating on a whole new level. Like, what what seriously happened? Like, it got lost in the mail, and USPS. Yeah, it got lost in the mail, and somehow ended up being at a thrift store. And how how did that even register from? being in transit getting into delivery and being lost and somehow it being at a trip it raises so many questions I, i'm just thinking like how does that even happen a scenario here would be okay i send this okay it, it's it, it went to shipping probably the guy uh, sent it to a um a house that wasn't the right person and the person opened it and says what was this i didn't do uh, i didn't order this oh uh, i'll just probably sell it off or donate it to a thrift store or something like that and that's one possible way that it could have happened uh the other one would be this big postal service guy kind of like got greedy and opened it and says oh what this is this is just trash uh sell it off to a thrift store or something like that there's so many questions that could that, that's just going through my mind right now and possibilities of what happened uh let's see what the commenters say that plush found its way home cute story uh, i saw a post on reddit or oh, this too uh ju -ju -ju -ju. that's it really show uh, blah, 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 blah. um yeah i don't know Pro probably the same theory as what i'm having <laughs> so anyway let's move on to the last news for the week and now last news for the week is secret of my excess full animatic release three revealed following candlelight, we candlelight wedding we have another neat animatic version of the entire secret of my excess episode popping up online check out this episode look from a super early face over here uh yep i, I check it out it's basically the episode but in animatic form where the show is at an early base where uh, if you're really interested in kind of scene stuff this is kind of your jam um the comments doesn't say much but hey uh we got no idea if this is from the same person or not uh because it, previously we saw videos coming from the same uh person that worked on the show i think that's what just their demo reel what they're what they're capable of but with this one we don't really know if it's it from the same person or not what's what's it on that so yeah but still uh this is a fascinating look and uh the title for the what you call this uh episode before it got its full title is called the greedy dragon tonight like so it was really fascinating just to see the uh, behind the scenes process and if you're into it um you guys should really check it out
But anywho, uh, that's the news for this week. And let's hop on into what have I been doing my week. So uh, my week has been pretty samey. Uh, magic, D&D, and that's about it. Um, work life and so on. Um, haven't really done anything noteworthy. Um, I, I know there's a movie that's out. I think so. Um, give me a second to double check because I I think what Transformers One is coming out or is out because a friend of mine invited me to go watch it. Uh, and I asked, "Oh, it is it is out. It is out." So twelve. Seven. Oh, it's been out for a while now. Huh? Fascinating. So yeah. Um. Probably next week I'll go watch that. Probably my funds are kind of in the right now, but still, um, but still I'll try and see what I can do. Probably, but still, um, next week probably Transformers One. I guess I'll give that a shot and see how it works. Um, what else? Uh, in terms of quote unquote entertainment um i went to this one cool restaurant called um, what was it called again uh shabu shabuyaki um basically it's a japanese grills place where you got your soup base and a griller you get your meat and you grill you dip your uh, meat in soup to boil it i think and eat it that way with condiments and whatnot, and you can get um, a lot of side dishes. Like, um, for example, I I think I personally took some. What did I? Oh, huh. I forgot. Probably fish cakes and whatnot. There's there's a lot of things, veggies and so on. So uh, that was uh, there and available. It, it was pretty neat and interesting. It, it was a experience to say. So um, yeah. <laughs> I would like to go there again because um, talking about it makes makes me hungry. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, um, let, let, let's let's wrap it up because I, I would like to get some food. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembshowgmail.com. You can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbshow, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Links are in the show notes. Oh, uh, a bit of housekeeping. Uh, somehow, the iTunes thing managed to fix itself, I think. So, um, this new episode here is going to be the test to see if it's uploaded or not and see how it goes. Because if it's not, it's going to be a real pain in the butt. So, if you're subscribed, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the support. Keep supporting us and so on. Um, but if not, I understand. Anywho, um, wrapping things up, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review the discussion podcast, exclusive and donated content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you and I'll catch you guys next week. Uh, with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.